Welcome to How To With This Dude. Today we're going to be checking the shifting linkage and replacing uh, one of the shifting linkage bushings. Uh, how I came across the problem in this one is if your shifter is loose, not going into gear, that's going to be somewhere in your cable most likely. Uh, we're going to go through a couple things to check first and uh, I've already diagnosed what the problem is and then we'll change out that bushing. Uh, what I'm working on today is a 2013 Chevy Tahoe. Uh, this vehicle will be the same as in some Silverados, uh, Yukons, and stuff in that nature. Here's the tools that you should need for this job. You got a four inch C-clamp, a 916 socket, Phillips head screwdriver, an extension, 10 millimeter deep well, and a driver to drive it. These should be all the tools you'll need uh, to replace the bushing. All right, the first place we're going to check is right up underneath here, under the dash. Do that. The best way to do is lean your column up. Over to the side, you have this little pull. Just pull that. That pops off. Underneath the dash, you have two Phillips head and a 10 millimeter. There's one. There's your 10 millimeter. And there's your other Phillips head there. Uh, on some models, your... Uh, hood release is right here and you'll just pull that hood release back and you'll be able to see that 10 millimeter. Okay we have the 10 millimeter bolt out and the two screws. Here it's just held on by a couple clips and you just pull on it. I know it sounds like it's breaking but it's not. And that pulls right off. And when you put it together you put it back together the same way just press it in. Now that we got the panel off, we can look underneath and we can see where the linkage is, where it connects right here. And you can see it looks like everything's connected. It moves just fine. Cable is still connected, so we know that's not our spot. Next, we're gonna go up underneath the vehicle and see where it connects to the transmission. Now we're gonna go down and check where it connects to the transmission. We're on the driver's side. You get right up underneath. You're going to want to put your vehicle up in the air a little bit to access it better. And you can see right there is your cable coming across. And you can see where it's not connected. I'll try to get in there better so you can see where it connects to. And this is where it connects to, to your transmission. This is supposed to be, have a bushing on it in the inside that fits over that. If this position is not all the way forward, you can push that forward and back with your hand. That's not that hard to do. You wanna make sure your emergency brake is on. Um, right now, it is in the full park position. And now we're gonna put in the replacement bushing in here. We're now going to get this new bushing in. The way you're going to do it, I'm using a 916 socket, and it's going to be on this side of your C clamp. The new bushing is going to be on this way with the fatter part of the lip against that part of the C clamp. The cable is going to go in between here. The reason I'm using the socket is so when this pushes through on that cable, it has an area for it to squeeze inside of. Instead of just with the clamp, it won't help push it all the way through. When putting your bushing in, you want to bring it in from the back side to push it through because it's going to slide on with this fatter part up on that nipple. So you'll want to push it through this way with that socket on this side when you squeeze it together. You can see here how I have the C-clamp with the socket, the cable, the bushing, and the back side of the C-clamp. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze those together. We got the grommet in now. Now we're going to place it over on the lever. It just presses on in from there. Now we'll test it, make sure everything works. You see your indicator still working. You can feel that it's not loose now. You can hear it go through the gears. I hope this video was able to help you out on changing your shifter linkage bushing. Uh, I'll post more how-to videos as I continue to fix things. If you like the video, please like it, share it, uh, subscribe to more how-to with this dude. Thanks for watching.